It's the top three moments of 2016 in quarter horse racing on StallionEsearch.com. Brought to you by the brilliant runner turned sire, Open Me a Corona. I am Ricky Ramirez and I'm the 2015 World Champion Jockey. And I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com. And I'm Mark Heron of Track Magazine. And these are the top three moments in quarter horse racing. That's of 2016. Number two. As a recap, the number three moment of 2016 in quarter horse racing was a scintillating performance in the grade one Rio Dosa Derby by the amazing runner Just Good Candy. Well, I think you'd have to say one of the top moments of 2016 in this racing season had to come in the Texas Classic. Uh, Ricky Ramirez won the 2015 AQHA World Champion Award. He won seven grade one wins in 2015, and, and I wouldn't say he was slumping in 2015 in 16 but uh certainly didn't have the year that he had pr previous and and it seems like trey wood and ricky ramirez seemingly own that texas classic there at lone star park side very close to the rail and then toward the outside gaining ground is tough to be as they come to the finish high plains perry high plains perry is gonna prevail it looked like in the texas classic fraternity no, uh Winning the Texas Classic three years in a row was, is, you know, something that I am very proud of. You know, I'm, I'm very happy and blessed to have won. You know, I, I've been very blessed to have won the, the Texas Classic four out of the last six years. You know, we won our first one in 2010 and then 14, 15, and 16. Obviously, uh, Trey Wood and his dad Blaine uh, know how to keep a horse sound uh, throughout the uh, summer when they're running at Rio Dosa. Uh, they don't use the horse up and uh, they have the horse peaking just at the right time to run in the uh, Texas Classic, the richest race in Texas. Uh, and what they've done winning the race four times, three times in the last three years is, a, is an amazing accomplishment in itself. It just, it just seems like the people I ride for kind of got it figured out, you know. It takes a, a good sound horse, you know, to be able to run in the fall to win a grade one like this. Of course, we win it on this year by the name of High Plains Perry. You know, broke good, broke in front, and just led it the whole way. Um, last year, we went it on Tres France. You know, pretty much a similar story. Broke very good and, and held them off. The Texas Classic is a grade one event. It's a $1 million futurity. So this is a this is a big futurity in the year. Of course, it comes after the All-American futurity. So you don't get a lot of horses that competed on the mountain for those big the, the rainbow and the All-American Futurity, but still you get a lot of quality horses that maybe were pointing away from the mountain and actually going to, to preserve themselves going into this $1 million event. And so to win it so many times, three times in a row, is just just, just an amazing, regardless if it's at the Texas Classic or a, a race out in Los Alamitos, to win a grade one $1 million race three years in a row is just a huge, huge accomplishment. One of the top Louisiana breads of any generation. The Grade One winner. Introducing the sire, Open Me a Corona. The winner of 13 stakes wins and over $929,000 in earnings. Open Me a Corona is by Corona's leaving you out of the Mr. Eye Opener mare named In the Open. Standing at Delta Equine Center in Benton, Louisiana. Open Me a Corona.